What's going on, Yu-Gi-Oh! community? YG Paladin back here with another video, and it is the premiere event of Rage of the Abyss. And boy, do I have uh, some packs to open, but I did go to Locals earlier today, and we did our um, premiere event, and I opened up uh, my entry packs for the tournament. I Just to recap what I pulled here, I pulled the, the Primate Dragon, and then I also pulled the Fire King Secret Rare, so those were pretty cool. I finally got a Secret Rare, and then when the prizing packs happened, I got two packs, and... I pulled the uh, the Water Charmer and then the Mimigul Charm. And I was like, okay, I'm having a good day. And last premiere event, I did not record a video of it, but I won this play mat. It was for the uh, In Infinite Forbidden and it was during my birthday. It was on my birthday. So uh, it was like the birthday luck. I got the play mat. That is awesome. And then today for the raffle, I won the play mat for the uh, new um, Shark Drake and the Rage of the Abyss. And I was so happy, man, because this is, was my favorite number back when the Zexel era. I used to summon this card, uh, the original Shark Drake, in my Chronomaly deck, funny enough. And it was like so much uh, nostalgia when I saw this was coming out with new support. And I was like, I want to play Shark Drake. And now I actually want the play mat. And for the second time in a row, I want to play mat from a raffle. I'm hoping this is gearing up for me to win for a third time for the next premiere event because it is Supreme Darkness and I need that uh, Neos, um, the evil hero Neos playmat. So uh, yeah, hopefully I still got a lot in me there. But anyways, what we are going to be doing is opening up not one, not two, not three, but four other entries. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead. This is pre pretty much a box at this point because I already had the five packs, the two from the prizing. And yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's let's let it ride. So I like the I like the field centers of this too. So hopefully I can collect a lot for Supreme Darkness. That'd be really cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into opening up uh, these these uh, entry packs here. And I want to ask you guys, uh, uh, would you guys be interested in me posting videos of me opening up like other card games? Because there's a new card game that came out, uh, Union Arena, and they have it with uh, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, which I just saw the new episode. It was freaking cool. I liked it. And uh, I just want to know, would you guys be interested in me like posting like a one-off video of me just opening up some Bleach boxes? And we also got uh, Code Geass coming out in December, so I definitely want to open up boxes of that. So let me know in the comment section if you guys would be interested in me just posting videos of me just opening that. I'm not going to take up the locals or anything, but I'm just curious if you guys would, like, be all right with that. You know, like, well, if you guys would actually, like, look at it or be interested in it, let me know in the comment section. So we only got a super rare on that one. We got Goblin Bikers Gone Wild. So there's that. Uh, hopefully we can pull a QCR. That'd be kind of cool. We have Guilt of the Simple Spoils, that, Battle Wasp, the Primate, and we have Rescue Hedgehog finally coming here to the TCG. Uh, okay. All right. Pack number three for the first entry. We have Max Metal Morph, Mimi Ghoul Armor, uh, Manga the Six Samurai as a Nima, and then the Battle Wasp, uh, Grand Partisan the Revolution. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. Let's go ahead and open up another one. We got. Never ending Nightmare Absorber. XC Poseidon Splash. Chaos a Allure Angel. I'm sorry, Allure Queen. I was, I was gonna say Allure Angel flipping and then Goblin Biker Grand Breakout. Alright, last pack for the first entry. Let's see if we can at least have a ultra rare. Alright, we have Insect Invasion, Primate Howl. Hey, I don't know what that card is. Max Metal Morph. And hey, we got Red Eyes, Black. Uh, Red Eyes Black Full Metal Dragon as our Ultra Rare. Okay, cool. And there's our other stuff. Let me go ahead and put that in a sleeve. All right. Going on to entry number two here. Uh, what are you guys most excited for in this set? Honestly, besides the, the, the obvious hitters like the new Max C and the Impulse, um, I'm looking for the uh, Shark stuff. I actually kind of want to build the deck. And it'd be kind of fun, but we don't have the new Tachyon card that makes it search a lot better. So, uh, in the meantime, we'll have to play without that. Hey, we got Heart of the Blue Eyes Secret Rare. Nice. I like the artwork of this. It searches your Millennium Unk, so that's that's pretty cool. It's more consistency to that deck. And I actually played against that deck. And uh, I actually beat Blue Eyes with... I'm uh, sorry, I beat Exodia with Heroes. I defeated that Unstoppable Exodia. That took some... Uh, that took some skills and one um, Forbidden Droplet. <laughs> so it was fun. It was an interesting match because I, you know, I had not seen it in action yet. 
Hal Sisters, Max Metamorph, and we have Leviathan Dragon, which I really do like that they revamped uh, Leviathan Dragon. That was the first number XCs, right? Yeah, the first number. Yeah, it was Leviathan. He summoned up that, and then Utopia came out after. And second investigation, flipping. We're getting a lot of the com. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. I went straight to the ultra rare. But we have. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that. The Olympian Dragon Lord. <laughs> A lot of the commons are the same commons, though. I'm noticing that. Um, like, from my other two packs, like they were all because we had to build a deck out of scraps with the cards that we pulled. So I, I looked at every single card so I could read them. And they're just like the same cards over and over. Like, all eight cards are about the same. So I'm like, there's got to be more commons in here, right? I feel like I'm pulling the same kind of ones. And we have Primate Roar. Yeah, even all of these are basically... Same old, same old. All right, all right. So that was actually a pretty good. That was a pretty good entry. It pulled both a secret and an ultra rare. And we pulled the legendary Lord Six Samurai Inch Inchi. All right. So that was for entry number two. Now let's go into entry number three. And if we pull a QCR though, that would be that'd be pretty cool. Ending Nightmare, Max Metamorph, Valmonica, uh, Insect Invitation, and we have Metal Illusionist. Okay, now we're getting some new commons. <laughs> Just like, because I'm seeing some of these commons and some people pulled them, some people didn't. And I'm like, man, that, that's actually a pretty good card in this format. Okay, we have Six Samurai, Supply Soldier, more insect stuff, another Six Samurai. This, and we have Azamina Deptors? Deptors? I don't know how to pronounce that, so... Azamina Snake Eyes, oh, man, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. Snake Eyes goes back to tier zero, right? No, but anyways, we have that puppet shark, six samurai, and we have succumbing song of Morganite. I wonder if they'll make another Morganite card, and I'm kind of curious what it's gonna impact with. See, like, what's it gonna mix with, um, or what's it gonna give you a boost with? Oh, whatever it does. So we have that performance ball, a man. Mant, Mant, or whatever. Azamina. Got nothing there. So let's hope we can get a, another Ultra Rare. Or Quarter Century. That'd be nice. We have Val Monica. Token Supporter. Reincarnation Unveiling Mail. Azamina. And uh, we got Mimigul Fairy. Okay. So now going into our final entry here. Let's see what we can pull here. So far we got two Ultras and a Secret Rare. So if we can pull another Secret Rare cool but if we can pull a qcr hey that'd be awesome <laughs> all right we pull guilt token supporter summer school uh battle wasp and metal zoa x okay here's some more commons i have not seen yet all right we got reincarnation armored shark goblin biker a qq and a primate imperial drag okay well fortunately it's the same one that i already pulled but hopefully those will actually be something decent i think uh, we should probably get more support right supreme darkness is the next set so maybe we'll get some more of this type of stuff in the next set and actually be better because that'd be kind of cool if they become like you know how like cash we only had like a couple of monsters the first wave and then the second wave they became a full-on archetype and then it's like <laughs> you, you remember, you remember Cacheteer. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. And we have Mimigul Fairy. Two more packs. Can we please pull a secret or a QCR? Let's see. And I do have a case coming in too, guys. I'm not going to lie. I do have a case coming. Probably not going to open all of it. Uh, more than likely, I'm not going to open all of it because I actually have to have a limit of how many I could open up. And I don't know if I'm going to open up any on video. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Even if I if I do decide to even do it. Incoming Machine has our super rare. And our last pack. Can we please get a secret or a QCR? Let me see. It's four cards, right? Four cards. All right. We got Newbie. Um, I have no idea what this was, but somebody summoned it on me and I lost. El Magi Mer Mergy. Release Brainwashing. Puppet Shark. A Mant Man. The Ultra Human, Performage Ball Bouncer, a Battle Wasp, and a uh, Mimi Gold Slime. So unfortunately, we only got one Secret Rare, but you know, it is what it is. We did get lucky with our first 
uh, earlier pulls from locals at the premiere event, and I got the play mat, so I can't be that mad. So thank you guys uh, so much for watching this video. I hope you did like it. Please hit the like button if you did. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content, and let me know if you guys are interested in me posting um, Union Arena box openings for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. If not, I'm just gonna open up, you know, uh, just but not on camera. But if you guys would like to see it, like let me know. I would be happy to open those up and maybe I'll, I'll even do one for Code Geass because that is my favorite anime of all time and I want to open up some of those uh, boxes, see what kind of cards we can pull there. And I even thought about doing a box opening for its Battle Spirits, but uh, it's from Japan. They did a collaboration with Godzilla and it was like pretty cool cards that I don't think we ever got here. And it just looked kind of cool when I was looking at the box opening. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in that. And if you will actually like me to post it on here, because I will gladly do it. So uh, thank you guys uh, so much for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one.